Welcome everyone and good morning. Our church council has made the unanimous, de unanimous decision to cancel church services due to the high number of COVID cases throughout our congregation. Please keep everyone who is affected with COVID in your thoughts and prayers. Pentecost is June the 5th. We are asking everyone to wear red as we celebrate. Graduate recognition will occur next Sunday, May the 29th. The altar flowers are given to the glory of God and our Lord Savior in the honor of Patsy Harrison on her 80th birthday on May the 26th by Gwen Harrison. Happy birthday to Patsy and all those who are celebrating a birthday this week. Congratulations to Tim Williams for being named Distinguished Area Civitan of the Year for the Four East Area of 2021 to 2022. Congratulations, Tim. The service of the word will be performed by Leanne today. Holy is the Lord, the Almighty. He was, he is, and he is to come. He is worthy of glory and honor and power. He created all things. By his will, they came to be. Worthy is Christ, the lamb who was slain. Worthy to take the scroll and break its seals. By his blood, he purchased for God people of every race and tongue, of every folk and nation. Christ made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God. And they shall reign on earth forever. Amen. Amen. Come, Come, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. God has made us his people through our baptism into Christ. Living together in trust and hope, we confess our faith through the words of the Apostles' Creed. I, I believe in God, God the Father Almighty, Almighty creator, creator of heaven and earth. earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, lead us by the inspiration of your Spirit to think those things which are right, and by your goodness help us to do them. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The first reading comes from Acts 16, verse 9 through 15. During the night, Paul had a vision. There stood a man of Macedonia, pleading with him and saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we automatically tried to cross over to Macedonia, being convinced that God had called upon us to proclaim the good news to them. We set sail from Throas and took a straight course to Samothrace, the following day to Neapolis, and there to Philippi, which is the leading city of district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We remained in this city for some days. On the Sabbath day, we went to the gate, we went outside the gate by the river, where we supposed there was a place of prayer, and we sat down and spoke to the women who had gathered there. A certain woman named Lydia, a worshiper of God, was listening to us. She was from the city of Thyatira and a dealer of purple cloth. The Lord opened her heart to listen eagerly to what was said by Paul. When she and her household were baptized, she urged us, saying, 
If you had judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed upon us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The second reading comes from Revelation 21, verses 10, verses 22 through 22, 5. In the spirit, one of the angels carried me away to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb. And the city had no need of sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God is, is its light, and it, its lamp is the Lamb. The nations will walk by its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it. Its gate will never be shut by day, and there will be no night there. People will bring into it the glory and the honor of nations, but nothing unclean will enter it, nor anyone who practice abomination or falsehood, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and the Lamb throughout the, throughout, through the middle of the street. On either side of the river is the tree of life and its twelve kinds of fruits, producing its fruit each month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. Nothing accursed will be found there anymore. But the throne of God and the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads, and there will be no more night. They need no light of sun, of lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How appropriate on a day when things are so out of the ordinary that we are given a beautiful glimpse of what we have to look forward to as believers of Jesus Christ. Not only the beautiful city, but the perfection and the peace that will be there. No more sickness. No more death. To be in the presence of God each and every day where there will be no night where nations will be at peace with one another. Our world certainly is very different from that right now, and it is a joy to me to know that we can look to this promise. No matter what we're going through right now with the sickness, with the world in turmoil, we know what our future holds, and we know who holds our future. We have nothing to worry about and nothing to fear. And we give thanks to God this day that we can look forward to this, to be with him, but we may also give thanks to God that he is here with us now in the sickness, in the turmoil, and the trouble. We live in his promise that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you are worthy to be held in reverence by all the mortal race. We give you thanks for the innumerable blessings which, despite our unworthiness, you have showered upon us. We praise you especially that you have preserved for us in their purity your saving word and the sacred ordinances of your house. Grant and preserve to your church throughout the world purity of doctrine and faithful pastors who shall preach your word with power and help all who hear rightly to understand and firmly to believe your word of truth. Protect and defend your people in time of tribulation and danger that we, in communion with your church and in unity with all Christian people, may fight the good fight of faith and in the end receive the fullness of salvation. Upon all the nations of the earth bestow your grace. Especially we ask you to bless our land and all its inhabitants and all who are in authority. 
Cause your glory to dwell among us and let mercy and truth, justice and peace everywhere prevail. We commend to your care all our schools that virtue and useful knowledge may be nourished and the wholesome fruits of life may abound. In your mercy, defend us from all calamities by fire and water, from war and pestilence, from scarcity and famine. Protect and prosper all who labor and cause all useful arts to flourish among us. Show yourself to be the helper of the sick and needy, the comforter of the forsaken and distressed. Accept, we pray, our bodies and souls, our hearts and minds, our talents and powers, together with these gifts as our offering of praise. And we especially lift to you today, Dylan and Jeff, Lisa, Kayla, Stephen and Jenna, Paisley, Jean, Rick and Lisa, Jeff and Julie, Sarah, Brian, Faith, Jimmy and Janine, Connie, Laura, Carly, Ted and Shirley, Joe and Tammy, Stephanie, Elsie, Rex, and Lisa. We lift to you Sylvia Alexander, Delma Beatty, Edie Barger, Sylvia Barger, Daisy Bost, Brenda Bowers, Norma Bradshaw, Kay Brown, Nona Deese, Judy Hampton, Kay Harvell, Coy Hill, Edna Hill, Gwen Hudson, Alan Kirk, Virginia Klutz, Doug Lingle, Hoyle Lingle, Vicki Meyer, Max Miller, Shirley Peeler, Bob and Helen Rogers, Penny Shu, Ginger Smith, and all those within our family of faith who are dealing with COVID now. We lift to you our military families, the Lingles, the Higgins, Julian Whaley, Tommy Gill, and Daniel Moose. We ask that you be with the missionary families that are known in this church, the Moors in Germany and the Robertsons in Tanzania. And we ask that you are with all missionaries around this world as they seek to share your good news with those who need it most. And as we are strangers and pilgrims on earth, help us to prepare for the world to come doing the work which you have given us to do while it is day, before that night comes when no one can work. And when our last hour shall come, support us by your power and receive us into your everlasting kingdom, where with your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign, God, forever. Amen. Let us now pray together the prayer that our Lord Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face shine on us and be gracious to us. The Lord look upon us with favor and give us peace. Amen. <laughs>